and welcome to your Key West Seaplane Adventures flight from Key West International Airport to Dry Tortugas National Park. Here's your pilot, Gary, and I will be narrating this abbreviated flight to the park on board the DHC-3 De Havilland Turbine Otter Amphibian. We'll be cruising at about 130 knots and flying at just 500 feet above the water. As we bank out over Key West, you'll be looking at the Atlantic side of the island. And now, in the center of your view, there's a marker on that corner designating the southernmost point in the United States. The flat, just three to five feet deep, is home to the Patricia, a World War II destroyer the Navy used for bombing practice. Today, you can watch for loggerhead turtles, rays, and even sharks. These are the quicksands, where the water is 30 feet deep and a seabed of constantly shifting sand dunes. It's here that treasure hunter Mel Fisher found the Spanish galleons in Toca and Margarita and more than a half billion dollars of gold and silver. The dry tortugas, discovered by Ponce de Leon in 1513, are a cluster of seven islands, mostly sand and coral reefs, and in fact is the third largest barrier reef system outside of Australia and Belize. Fort Jefferson, the largest brick building in the Western Hemisphere, guarded U.S. shipping routes and was a military prison whose most famous inmate was Dr. Samuel Mudd, who set the leg of John Wilkes Booth following the assassination of President Lincoln. Between the months of March and September, some 100,000 sooty terns will come to nest on the island of the Dry Tortugas. They are joined by brown knotties, roseate terns, double-crested cormorants, and brown pelicans. So here we are. Thanks for flying. Hope you enjoyed the ride.